thinking of you. I, I know the truth. You don't miss that song? Do you remember what it is? A little bit. I don't know the name, but it's Lil Wayne and KFC. Oh. I mean, uh, KSI. Man, it's your favorite too, man. We yeah, it's the real old twin. Yeah, 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 man. It's the end of the month. Yup, man. It's been a good month too. I can't good complain, month, man. I enjoyed I this lie. month. I hope y'all been enjoying all this I content. Feel free. This month, man. You know. You know we gonna give y'all the high quality content, man. But today we got a special treat for y'all, man. Shout out to Illuminati. How that came off like that, but we got the problem with black YouTube. We a part of black YouTube, but let's see if we got something to do with this. Real talk, uh, and, and this is from a channel that kind of, I, I see a lot of this, like a lot of his videos popping up. I think I seen one and then they just kept popping up. So he a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? So show him some love. I'll probably put the link in the description too. But yeah, the problem with black YouTube, let, let's see what he think yeah, is the problem. Hey, this, this, uh... What we looking at right now is kind of rubbing my brick. Probably, friends, you know, <laughs> probably got something to do with it. Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What the fuck? There's a problem with YouTube, specifically black YouTube. Black okay. YouTube sucks. When Damn. it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Kenshin, Berlizzi, AMP, RDC, and many others. Oh, fuck YouTube! Wait, hold on, he, he said, said, said many, many others. others. I just want to be an honorable mention. You gotta pay That's attention to them that. people he said. Yeah, they no. are bigger. Yeah, they, they do. Got, they, they up there. Especially Corey Kenshin, man. Shout out Corey Kenshin, man. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. and many others. That mean, you know. Yeah, man. I think we ain't honorable. Did, we ain't did no brick. We ain't, <laughs> we ain't said brick. Film a brick. <laughs> creators that don't care about their content at all all they care about is the money that comes with youtube and all their videos are just based around sexual uh, things one side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make and the other side is like that two dollar mcdonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes but the next day you feel like absolute it's kind of like yin and yang you know and in today's video i'm going to be talking about that other side of black youtube the terrible side now when it comes to the black community and content creation i feel like every single idea can can't just be a normal idea, you know? There always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it. You can't just do a normal thing. <laughs> hey. well, before you cook, yeah, uh, I, Aaron, cook I the... like how he met, like his little music. Yeah. And then this was zooming in to him a little bit. Me sitting in his own. So it's gotta be some kind of sexual spin to it. Hey man, he, is I'm he glad like... you wore the glasses, Cameron. Because he reminded me more of, with the he glasses. Remind me of a younger Dante. Yeah. Like when Dante was first coming up, Dante was doing this shit. For real. Like he was pulling people aside to, to his yeah. to his video. I ain't like let we them know they goofy. When we first started on YouTube, I thought about bringing a bit oh. You you thought about I bringing thought, some hoes? I thought about it and I was like, no. Hey, you know man, we dissect. I just feel like yeah. if I did that type we of could. content all the time. It then I would be trying yeah. to prove that I get bitches. Yeah, and I get bitches. Like, I just want to be creative. It just was like, ah. Yeah, like, I just want to be creative. But, hey, the, them thumbnails, hey, what is it? Uh, the, uh, Lamb put Lamb Lamb supercar prank. Oh, God. <laughs> there always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it. You can't just do a normal truth or dare. It has to be a freaky truth or dare. You can't just go on a blind date. It has to be a freaky blind date. The other day, I literally seen a video titled, I put my freaky ass parents on a blind date. We are... What? I didn't see that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey, Karen, you watching this freaky shit? I put shit? my freaky like... parents on a blind date. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah. What is you trying to see your parents do? In the video for views. Hey, That's crazy. Why you got this shit in your algorithms? Man, because he be watching freaky shit. He be watching this day. freaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> it don't pop up for me. They don't pop up on my shit, Cam. Mine be uh, uh, catching cooks. <laughs> Getting to the point in content creation where we're putting our parents on blind dates and it has to be freaky? That is absolutely weird, if I'm being honest with you. Another trend that's pretty big in the black community are 20v1s. These videos hit the black community harder than crack in the 80s. I can't tell you how many black content creators I've seen milking the absolute life out of 20v1s. Now, if you don't know what a 20v1 is, well, it's basically like a speed dating show where 20 people speed date one person. And by the end of the show, that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people 
people. I'm pretty sure this video idea was like created by Jubilee, popularized by the Sidemen, and then the black community just took it by storm. Now don't get me wrong, there are some genuinely funny 20v1s out there, but then you got channels out here who are posting 20v1s every single week. For example, No Love Mar. Now if you don't oh, know shit. who No Love Mar is, well he's a pretty big black YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers, but when you take a look at this man's channel, basically all of his videos are 20v1s. I wouldn't be surprised if this man changed his name to Cupid, the way he's helping out everyone find love. I wouldn't be surprised if this man did a 20v1 with the whole entire United States for his next video. Honestly, at this point, this man should put me in a 20v1 to help me find some action. Wait, camera, camera. I don't even want to talk about you this bad, but boy. Who made you? Uh, been in the waiver face. Uh, like, uh, hey. Rusty face, nigga. Imaginary Who's friend. House? Uh, Runs house. <laughs> Monta Ellis, boy. Wait a minute. You're the fastest man with it without the ball. Stephen Curry, no eyebrows face at me. Just got to high school. Freshman year. First day. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga funny. Hey, you should be on one of the 21st ones. I'm telling you, they be having tall girls, small girls, big ones, funny ones, deep boy One ones with like little shout heads. No, <laughs> Like, come on. And what's crazy is that this man is so obsessed with 20v1s that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20v1 with Krishan Rock and He's he lying. wanted to do that idea first. I mean, there's literally entire videos of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio, them beating up the other guys, and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to YouTube. Number one, what happened to Shame? Who genuinely... If you know YouTube... Fought over a 20... If you know YouTube... I don't want to get You know that shit. everything is kind of... WWE-ish. Yeah, it do get a little WWE-ish, you stole the, man. YouTubers pulling up I don't people. know if that shit real or fake, but if it is real, what the fuck? And if it is fake, what the fuck? Simply. Simply put. Right? I love this. <laughs> Once the speed date, the snaggletooth demon Krishan oh Rock, that woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. Oh. And number two, why are you out here jumping other YouTubers? Because oh, they're about to me. upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Imagine if Moist Critical got to a topic before me and I fought him because of that. Isn't that the stupidest thing ever? Like, it just... Moist Critical is going to get to the topic before. Yeah, you. Moist Critical. I, I don't think Moist point, Critical give a fuck. I think Moist Critical <laughs> is a computer program. Moist Critical is... And if, I mean that respect. If this, was the, if this was the industry, music industry, Moist Critical is going to be there regardless. He Neo in There's the There's nothing you can do to make Moist Critical upload after you. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like a... But that would be very unfortunate in that case. He's Neo. He got to be Neo. He sees shit coming critical, before it crazy. even happened. Like, he be ready. <laughs> doesn't make sense at all. And what's even worse is that before every 20v1 that this man does, he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get $750 cash app from clicking the link in the description, but you don't. It just takes you I'm to one try. of those sites where they have you fill out all of those <laughs> tedious surveys and you get nothing from them. I mean, there's literally entire videos on YouTube exposing these scams. He gets the money because he gets paid. I hate. I don't like when uh, people try to, the things that people offer. Like stop trying that shit. My Why nigga, do you think it's like the let me get your thousand, I flip it to a ten thousand. Like y'all try it and then make YouTube videos being like they scam me. Well, see, here's the thing. You tried here's that the thing. shit. When you look at YouTube though, it's a bunch of fucking kids. Stop like, trying. Who, who's shit. gonna click on freaky date of the dates of freakies? These little ass kids. And so they gonna be the ones that be like, oh, I can get $750 while I'm watching this. They impressionable. That's like being on your thing and then going on your Facebook and saying, I got 10,000 local singles who wanna meet up with me. All these girls just if wanna meet up with me. If you're 10 years old, you might try it. Don't. These these YouTubers ain't 10 years old. No, they just exposing it for the for the word. But that's what I'm saying. They going. You know why they exposing it. Don't. You know why they doing it. And for they own, they you might as well get put in there too. Thank you. Well, goddamn it, let's all go to jail. Yeah, 
because people clicking the link. But you as a viewer, you get nothing because I mean, why would Cash App just give you $750? They would be broke if they just decide to do that. It just shows how greedy of a YouTuber this man is. But I'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident. We also have this other YouTuber right here named Real X Sean, and basically a bunch of his videos are just 20 v ones. I mean, nothing really else. But this man also he spams that link in the description with that $750 Cash App that you're never gonna get. And then you got another 20 v one YouTuber right here named Ryan with the sauce, and he also spams that link in the description with that $750 Cash App. And what's also crazy about these 20 v one YouTubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them. The only difference is the people in the 20 v ones. The intros are all the same. The editing is all the same. Hell, even the freaking personalities of all these YouTubers are all the same. Even the freaking scam in the video. They're all doing the same $750 Cash App scam. Even the scam in the video is the exact same. These dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory, bro. Like, they're just printed every single freaking week. Buzz, every buzz, week buzz, 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 Lightyear to the rescue. Buzz Lightyear caught a stray. Come in, Starker, man. You know how they did Buzz. They played man. Buzz, man. You're not a... He You're got, an action figure. Oh, that was hate. You can't fly. That was some <laughs> hate, man. <laughs> Wasn't it? He was hating on that nigga a little bit. Damn. I didn't even think about that. I gotta watch Toy gotta Story. See all the hate. Buzz. Oh, I'm stuck in Toy Story. <laughs> That's crazy, man. No way, gang. 20v1 YouTuber. Okay. What's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 20v1s, which is very sad. For you guys that don't know, there's this rapper named La Tyler, and he's 17 years old. And the YouTuber No Love Mar, he made a video with La Tyler. He made a 20v1, and it's disgusting, if I'm being honest with you. How you feel about sex on a very night? I don't think it's bad. Like, if both of y'all vibing with each other, you peep the vibe. She got two kids. We grown. We grown. <laughs> There's a bunch of grown women in there asking a 17 year old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. What do you mean, is he husband material? That's just odd. And you can't. This shit funny as fuck, bro. Cameron, how old is you? Cameron, a smooth this nigga like 40. 24. He like 42. He's smooth 24, 25 or something. Like, he, like, it's funny, this video, he like wanna, like, if you wanna, like, he, in this video, he come off like that dude, like that parent. So across yeah. the street that's watching you in the street. Like, look at these little... Look at these dumbass. Look at what's kids. going on. Look, look, look at that one right there. Like, if he had to sit... Like, if this was live... Like, imagine YouTube. This is the future. Mm -hmm. YouTube live where you react to people in their face. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? Like, if he had to tell them the, what he felt right there. Right there, yeah. Like, and look at them with Boozy coming in and these characters. Well, judging and then by, it's on camera. Judging by the fact that these niggas jumped a nigga for their camera and their content it or work, whatever right? it was. No, they just have to put them behind a glass wall. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing, though? Because they sit, react right there. I'm telling you, niggas, see, this is another problem with black YouTube. <laughs> niggas is too defensive. Like, and mm -hmm. I don't mean, like, you defensive, you be like, shut the fuck up, stop talking about me. I mean, like, niggas... Everything is too much when yeah. it come from another nigga. I am, it's, I was, oh, what the fuck you saying to me, man? Uh. Yeah, but then it's like, at the end of the day, a state, these bro. videos is entertainment too. Thank you, right? So I'm like, I feel like the new wave should be like stuff and live. And if they try to jump you, bro, I got your back, man. <laughs> I come too. I, I got. I'm your like, back. they do be doing that, don't they? Pranking people. Yeah, <laughs> I got your back, bro. Because you ain't lying. Is close to 18, but at the end of the day, if you sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But what's even crazier is that there's 20 v ones with Lil RT, and for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine year old rapper, but he's not like the main character in these 20 v ones. He's like that little assist <laughs> character that you have in freaking Mortal Kombat when you spam L1. I mean, as you can see right here, there's literally a video called I Found Love from the Help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine year old to help you find love? You also got the YouTube because that nigga drives 60 miles per hour. He drives 60 miles. 60 miles at 100 miles per hour. He just drives 60 miles. <laughs> that nigga could probably help you with taxes. Said, I'm going 60 he miles. He can ask me with your credit. Man. He know a lot about stuff he shouldn't know. Cam, <laughs> we both know why they need little RT. We know why they he need little RT. Views. The same way oh, they man. needed Ice Ice JJ Fish. Man. Cause he was, because um, it was cause something he, he was talented. About he was very it was something about you. Oh man. Psych! Got him! 
You know how this shit work. work. James Sid, who's also been doing many videos with Lil RT, and he's not doing them in like the right way. He's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally did a video named Lil RT Swipes 20 Guys for His Mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. If I would have cursed in front of my mom, I wouldn't be here making this video today, if I'm being real with you. But yeah, I just find it odd how these guys literally have videos, and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face-to-face -face smasher passes, which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch. If you don't know what this is, well, it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up, and one by one, they basically go through these lines and say smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of. It's pretty sad when you really think about it. If I had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes, I'm not gonna lie, I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube that's pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean, imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass. And like I said earlier, a lot of black YouTube, their content just revolves around just extremely horny content. Public interviews. I mean, you know the whole gay son or thought daughter thing. Find your match, which is just basically they get a room full of people. <laughs> he on their ass. This nigga glasses to yeah. him talking is crazy, my yeah. nigga like... Kind of look like a circus hey but i ain't gonna lie though that ain't that ain't just this that's just the world like for real yeah. like that's just the like i is it's the truth in the black community we everything is over listen man. over sexual this is the to point be for real this you point. can't go to the store without somebody being like man you like why is always this? It's programming. Know about my mind. Programming. It's about your looks. But at the end of the day, man, this is what it made it down to in my mind. I can't stop it, so I ain't trying to block it. You know what I'm saying? You get money if you could feed your family because you over sexualize it. I'm gonna stay back here. Yeah. Now, if them people run in at some point and build a case on you randomly about anything, you knew where you was playing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You was playing in that playground, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, man. If I was uh, in the face-to-face, -face, I should do it. Because if I step out there and say you're wrong, <laughs> now everybody mad at me. Yeah, man. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, I'm just telling you. You know, you got it, man. Chillin'. And they just try to find their matches. And God. Overall, my yeah. problem with black YouTube is that number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just copying off each other and expecting to become the biggest black YouTuber of all time with zero originality, which is absolutely crazy. And number two, all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them. And then once these kids click on them, they're just going to freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the $750 cash app scam just so they can get paid. Overall, black YouTube is just down atrocious right now. And it's honestly sad to see bro but yeah this is gonna wrap up the let's say something positive on this end note because that's to wrap it up rest in peace kobe bryant in the back no cap. how about that and uh i need a detailed that? list of what funkles them is back there because i know i know if i'm missing one of them i need it yeah because we got them joints don't think we <laughs> one right there he probably getting blocked by the video yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. man Hey man, uh, hey man, yeah. Can black we? YouTube, black YouTube. We can man. rise as a people, cause it's bigger than black and white. It's a problem with the whole oh, way wait. of life. We can't change overnight. But everybody know on the twenty first when them checks, <laughs> when them zeros be, you know, you gotta know what you gotta do.